We are here to share with you some tips on thyroid health. To help you feel amazing. <laughs> Acu Yoga with Elizabeth and Elle. Yeah, Acu Yoga Health Foundation. And as always, we're so happy to be here and to be doing what we love and sharing it with you so you can have an amazing vibration on this planet and feel great. Um, I'm excited about today's video for thyroid health. Yes. And I know Elle is too. Oh, what do you, what do you got for us? Mm. So thyroid health, we can divide it into both hyper and hypothyroid. And I've got some herbal tips for you in regards to both of those. Ultimately, for hyperthyroid, lemon balm is gonna be really great, as well as taking a B complex and an herb called bugleweed. For hypothyroid, I recommend ashwagandha, selenium, and L tyrosine. And for both of these, eating seaweed is gonna be key because seaweed has iodine, which provides the building blocks for the thyroid hormones. Yes. Energetically, according to yoga, we relate the thyroid to the Vishuddha center, the Vishuddha chakra, the throat center. It relates to speaking, living, and standing in your truth, reveling in your glory, all that you are, no matter if you see it in a negative light or a positive light, but just standing in your truth. Um, a lot of work today um, that I, I enjoy seeing people owning up and talking about their shadow side um, as well as their light and bright and positive side. I always think it's best to stay focused, put your energy more on your merits mm -hmm. than your demerits, but it's good to own all of you and accept all of you. This gives you power right here to stand in your truth and um, to digest fully, to swallow the truth of who you are into the very essence of your being. And so we'll have some work that will help you to strengthen your thyroid, balance your thyroid gland. We also associate this gland with moods, youth, beauty. Energy. Energy. It, it really helps to govern the energy of your body and it's in the shape of a butterfly yeah. or kind of looks like a butterfly. The color is blue. And I always imagine like this beautiful blue wave mm -hmm. going through all directions of my throat, like the ocean. It's beautiful and clear. And a lot of times just sitting and meditating on that color in this area of, of the body helps to improve the energy of that gland. Well, let's get started. Do a little activity to boost your thyroid. I had mentioned in my other video that we just did for um, helping to cleanse the lymphatic system, clear skin issues. I have had people who have come and taken my classes and doing that we do, we take care of the gland work in Kundalini Yoga and people have come back and reported that they have, they don't need their thyroid medication anymore. Um, do what you need to do. I'm not saying by any means not to take the medication, but this is how powerful some of the work that you can do to improve the way that your thyroid gland works. So we're gonna start by comfortable seated position. Just bring your hands to your heart. Take a moment, close your eyes and bow the head to the heart. Get centered into the very heart of who you are, into the heart of your practice. And then inhale, raise your head up. Right. From here, we're just gonna mentally tune in to the mantra Ong Namo three times, just repeating that mantra to yourself. Ong Namo Guru Devna No. It means I call in my highest self. And now we'll say the mantra aloud together three times, using the power of our throat center to speak our highest self, the vibration of our highest self. 
So inhaling to begin on the Mo Guru Dhamma Om. Oh. your throat center. Imagine lots of space through the neck, the throat, the shoulders, the head, the eyes, the mouth and lips. Seeing, visualizing these areas as spacious, as clear, will help you Create a strong throat center, a balanced thyroid, and then open the eyes. You can remain seated here. Otherwise, we're going to be coming up onto our knees into what we call rock pose. Just sitting on our knees. I'm going to sit at a little bit at an angle here. And we're bringing the arms out. We turn the head left as we inhale and turn the head right as we exhale. Inhale left, exhale right. Keep the fingers together, the thumbs close to the index fingers, and the palms as square up to the sky as possible. Tuck your navel, that'll help to neutralize your spine. Close your eyes, focus up and in towards the midpoint of the brow, the third eye. Keep the navel tucked. Last ten. Three, two, and last one. Inhale, hold center. And exhale, release the arms. Come back into seated. And here, hands will be on the knees, and we're just shrugging alternate shoulders. Inhale, left up, so you feel nice lengthening the side body. Exhale, right up. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. Lots of spaciousness through the jaw, the neck, the eyes as they close and focus. You can start using the mantra that we like to use in Kundalini Yoga. Inhaling Sat and exhaling Nam. And for those of you new to Kundalini Yoga, this is a mantra we use throughout most of our practice to keep the mental body focused on all the beauty that you are. The I, it's called the I am mantra. Satnam means I am truth. I am the embodiment of truth. I am beauty. I am eternal. I am infinite and finite.
Now we're just going to exchange, inhale right up, exhale left up, just for the last 15 seconds. Get rid of any restriction, compression through the throat, through the clavicle, the shoulder girdle, and then you have both shoulders up. Press into the sits bones. You really lengthen and create traction through the spine. Exhale, ah, shoulders release. So just sit for a moment, take a swallow, digest your work. Allow the belly to rise and fall naturally with each inhale and exhale, with each sigh and each yawn. Good, and moving on to the next exercise. Remain in seated if you have any issues. Otherwise, coming back into rock pose. And here we're going to have the arms facing out into, so if the pinky edges meet and the palms are flat, bring your heels as close as you comfortably can together. So you're not sitting in between the heels or you can use a block to sit on, but you're really trying to keep that line by keeping the heels close together. Palms are facing up. Head and neck slightly lean back about a 40, 45 degree angle, wherever is comfortable for you, breath of fire. Eyes can look up right at one point at the ceiling or you can close and focus. There's a nice little pull through the throat to balance the thyroid. Keep the navel tucked so you're not hyperextending through the back. Shoulders down. Keep reaching out through the arms, through the fingers. The more linear you get, the more support you'll feel. Retuck the navel, five, four, three, two, one, inhale. And exhale, come out of it slowly. Nice job. It wasn't easy. Come right into seated and into Venus lock. So Venus lock, left thumb over the right is the hands interlaced behind you. If you're a woman, left thumb over right, hands interlaced. If you're a man, right thumb over left, hands interlaced. Tuck the chin into the notch of the chest. Raise the arms up just slightly. See if you can keep your palms together. Breath of fire. And again, you can slightly tuck the navel. It'll take out any hyperextension in the lower back. Three, two, one, inhale, slowly roll up. And exhale, ah, oh, as the hands unlace and the palms face down on the knees. Light touch, appreciating the subtle body. Close your eyes, feel the weight of each fingerprint. Enjoy the light touch and sensation. Enjoy the sensation and delight and the rise and fall of the belly as you take your natural breath. Delight in the breath, 
moving through beautiful line, tailbone to crown. Feeling good as you support the respiratory system through better alignment. Chin slightly tucks in like a soldier to tension. This way the head and heart align. slowly open the eyes. And from here, inhale, turn the head left. Exhale, turn the head right. Inhale, left. And exhale, right. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. Inhale, stop. Exhale, mom. Close the eyes. Continue to move and meditate. And that's how I think of Kundalini Yoga. A lot of yoga for that matter and martial arts, dancing, it's a moving meditation. And I believe as you master your life, as you become your own best artist standing in your truth, the healthy thyroid, healthy Vishuddha center, embodying and embracing all that you are, the artist that you are of this life, of your lifetime, that your whole life can then become a moving meditation, a moving celebration. Retuck the navel, see what that does to your posture. And last five, relax the fingertips, four, three, smiling, two, and last one. Inhale, hold center. Squeeze, little squeeze to your root lock, and then exhale, nose, release. Relax, take three breaths, observe your breath. Belly naturally rises and falls. Chin slightly tucks in. And opening your eyes and feeling good as you teach yourselves and give yourself the cellular memory you need to come back into center. Anytime you're feeling off center, you use those keys. Squeeze of the root lock. Chin slightly tucks in. Breathe through the line of your spine. You'll feel the energetic switch take you back to center. This is part of the beauty of Kundalini Yoga. It gives you the tools. So from here, and there are many, many tools and many paths, and I love all of these paths that give us the intelligence and the technology to Come back to our center and stand in our truth. From here, the palms are about eight inches away from the seat. The fingers are pointing away and your feet are close together or touching. You're just relaxed here. You slightly lean back and look up. Again, that slight pull through the throat just to come back to where it feels comfortable Gaze at one point, just natural breath. Start to feel it, that's okay. Three more breaths. And this next inhale, slowly elevate the head. Look straight ahead, take an inhale. 
Exhale, mouth. Feeling the opening through the throat. Wiggle your toes. Okay, then from here, come back to seated. And we're taking cow pose. So cow pose is a really great way to give yourself a natural glandular tune-up. The knees are right underneath the hips, hands right underneath your shoulders. You're gonna arch the back and then look up. And again, you'll have that nice arch through the throat center. Natural breath or breath of fire. Another little helpful hint, if you feel like you're just lean, leaning into the hands and dumping weight there, press up and out of the hands. That'll help you even get more of an arch, a little bit more proper engagement. And a lift through the chest. Your toes can be tucked or untucked. Five, four, three, two, one. Deep inhale. And then exhale, neutralize the spine, the head and neck. Untuck your toes if they're tucked. The toes come toward one another as your knees widen and lengthen into child's pose. It should feel really good. It's a restorative posture for the body that brings the energy of security and purity, but just allow yourself to bask in those energies. Maybe a cleansing breath. Inhale, nose, exhale, mouth. Just enjoy three more breaths here. And now just give a little sway to the hips, like you're wagging your tail, imaginary tail. And then slowly roll up, dragging your fingertips up across the floor, rolling up the natural curve of the spine, thanking your body, place your hands on your heart and just say thank you aloud. Thank you. And come back to seated. Before we move on to our other part of our Aki Yoga protocol, I just feel that it's important to share with you a little, little bit more on standing in your truth and internal dialogue with yourself and the importance of, of Sat Nam or mantras that support us. They're there to support the mental body, but most of all the vibration of our body. And so when we have a balanced throat center and our thyroid's balanced, there is a sense of our finite self and our infinite self. 
And there's so much of our day that we're so focused, of course, on the external world, the seen world, but there's so much of our health depends on the unseen, um, the vibration, the frequencies. Tesla said, if you wanna understand the world, think in terms of vibration, frequency, and energy. And this is what our work is all about and why we're excited to share it with you because we want to help raise people's vibration and we know this work. And so when you're talking in your day-to-day -day dialogue, a lot of times it's, I am hungry, I am this. I, you're, you're identifying with your job, with your profession. Um, I teach or I am um, going to do, I'm an acupuncturist and I have my license. I'm going to do this. I'm a sister, I'm a mother. But let's start saying to ourselves every day, I am infinite. I am bountiful, I am blissful, I am beautiful, I am infinite, and I am finite, and I enjoy my spirit, I enjoy the unseen part of myself as much as the seen, and I give myself energy to support both of those worlds as best as I can, and I have fun doing it. This is the type of dialogue that's gonna really help, you know, things improve in our lives, in, in all, all directions and in all levels. So a couple points for the thyroid. You can start by doing a little massage here and kind of just gently put your hands on either side and rock it back and forth so you get the energy moving. There's a point right behind the earlobe, Sanjiao 17, and this connects to the thyroid. Sanjiao is also called triple warmer. Mm. So it's the three burners. It regulates the upper jowl, middle jowl, and lower jowl. And it's also connected to our immune systems, endocrine glands, and the thyroid being one of the, the endocrine glands and the endocrine system. Mm. And as you're massaging this, I'm just thinking, of course, it's by the ears. A lot of times what we're speaking and how we're communicating is evident in the way we listen mm. and becoming an effective listener mm. is so huge. <laughs> listening not only to the internal cues of our body, because body doesn't lie. Body never lies. And listening to the intelligence of your body listening to the heart of what people are saying. The last point is right here. A lot of these points around the neck are called the window of the sky points. And this one is right in this area. Uh, puka. Yeah, this puka. Tiantu. Yeah. So we're cleaning up our windows of the sky so we can have clear speech, clear communication. Mm, the windows of the soul too. Mm. Yeah, like the heavenly realm. Connecting to our highest vision and version of ourselves. While we're massaging this point, can we do a mantra together? Let's do it. Okay. So just repeat after me and then join in with us. I am bountiful. I am bountiful. I am blissful. I am blissful. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. Bountiful, blissful, and beautiful I am. Bountiful, blissful, and beautiful I am. I am bountiful. I am blissful. I am beautiful, bountiful, blissful, and beautiful I am. I am bountiful, I am blissful, I am beautiful, bountiful, blissful, and beautiful I am. I am bountiful, last one, I am blissful, I am beautiful, bountiful, blissful, and beautiful.
beautiful I am. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Let's end with one long sat nam, standing in the truth of all that we are. Inhaling. So Thank you, bountiful, blissful.